I wanted to show something of how hard these people have worked to get all the way from wherever they came from, which is miles and miles away, to, to, to flee conflict and other like horrendous things in their life. And I just want people to understand that pain and that just those circumstances, I think, and just to have an open mind about other people and not like shut people down so easily. Harley Weir's exhibition is part of the Brighton Photo Biennial. The theme for this year's Brighton Photo Biennial is a new Europe. Um, and we really wanted to focus on a topical theme, um, something that was really important in the current moment um, and, and really looking at the state of flux that the UK is in and finding artists that are making work about um, the current state of flux and really highlighting those projects. Over the past few years, the migrant and refugee crisis in Europe has intensified and because of that, we're seeing many artists making work about these issues. In the Brighton Photo Biannual, there is uh, several exhibitions that relate to the migrant and refugee crisis. And Harley's show is very much talking about a specific um, moment and a specific location where she was in Calais. This is a exhibition from a larger project that I've been working on since 2012 on borders called Boundaries. So I first of all did Palestine and the rest of Israel on both sides of the, of the wall. And then I also went to a few other countries. I went to Georgia and Abkhazia, which is another sort of like very turbulent border. I also tried to do North Korea, but it didn't work <laughs> at all from Russia. That was really didn't plan my trip well enough. But this is called Homes. Um, it's um, a series of images of, of the homes that people built in the jungle or the Calais uh, migrant refugee camp. When I heard about the camp being destroyed in Calais, I felt much more connected with the place, I suppose, since it's, it's the closest place to the UK, it's where our Channel Tunnel is. That's our kind of like tie with, with France. And obviously most of the people in the camp that are, were living in the jungle wanted to get to the UK. So it felt like something that I really had to see for myself to understand. I kind of relied on the relationships of the people who were living there to kind of, well, I had to rely a lot more on those people because I was on my own. And I was really surprised by how welcoming and how, just how lovely the people were. I was also really astounded by the way that the place was. It was like a very bizarre village almost. What you don't realize is it's on a beach, which is this kind of like natural space. And then there's all of these like, houses that the people have made from just any kind of odds and ends that have been found. Harley's Project Homes looks specifically at um, details and texture and the environment in which the refugees and migrants were living in Calais. There was just like an ingenuity with what they'd done and also like a humanity that you could see within the homes that just felt really human, like these people have pride in where they were staying, like they were decorated. I found it to be important to show that when so much reportage images in general are usually showing people at their worst. And I think it's important to also show people something beautiful of those people, show something, you know, that those people might be proud of. I think one of the things that really interested um, me about showing this set of images at Fabrica is the way that the idea of sanctuary is really at the heart of these images. Not only the idea of the home as a, as a kind of personal sanctuary, but also the fact that they're about people who are experiencing a very transient um, lifestyle through no fault of their own really. We don't know the sorts of choices that people have to make when they, when they leave their home country. So these are people who, many of whom are in pursuit of a kind of sanctuary. I decided not to show any people because kind of promoting the idea of like more of a collaboration. I feel a lot of photographers, they take pictures of people and they feel that they own those images. They can do as they wish with those images. And I think that that's 
really like a warped idea. And obviously working in fashion for a long time, I can really feel how it is for people to have their image used in ways that they don't expect or want them to be used. I think people were a lot more welcoming to me because I didn't want to take their photo. But I do think that you can see enough of the people within the homes that they created. I think there's enough information there not to need to see anyone. We started with the photo book um, and then we were trying to transform things from the pages of the book into the installation space of the gallery. So we decided to make the prints very large um, on a fabric material that's uh, slightly uh, see-through. All the photographs are printed on textile and many of the images are of tents and other kind of textile based structures. So there's a lovely relationship between the kind of textural quality in the image and what it's actually printed on as well, which is, which is really beautiful. This was really interesting for me because I've not really had I've not really had many exhibitions. I actually find photos, preferably for me, would be in a book form. So um, it was really exciting for me to think about a way to have the images in the space where it actually was necessary to not have the images as a print. There's a very large, very beautiful image um, of, um, the, from the beach at Calais looking out towards the UK, um, which is positioned at, at one end of the building. Um, at the other end of the building, there's a, quite a formal arrangement on a set of plinths of nine books, which show nine images um, that Harley took after the camp was, was demolished. Definitely in the news, it's, it's been a lot. We haven't heard so much about immigration situations or um, things like that for a while now. I, th I think people might have felt like it's like eased off, but it's actually only got greater. And I think it's really important um, to be looking at these topics again. And I, I did shoot this in 2016, but for example, this refugee camp and many others have only regrown and, and, and got bigger again. So I think it's a, really important to re-highlight those things and I also don't see why these images aren't important anymore. I think they're really important to remind people of what's going on.